Uh, hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So in this video over here, I'm gonna talk about uh, four reasons why your uh, front derailleur uh, doesn't shift from the smaller cog onto the uh, biggest train rig. I should say the smaller train rig onto the biggest train rig. And this is gonna work for Campy, uh, Shimano, and SRAM. Uh, due to the simplicity of the front derailleur, it's, all, it's the same pretty much. And let's get into this right now. So the first thing that you want to keep an eye on will be a very similar, like I've done on my other video, why it won't shift from the big to the small. Now we are going from a small to the big, and you want to see how much tension you have right here. Now you want to see if you have enough tension in your cable, to, whereas the front derailleur will pull enough from the small to the big cog. That is the tip number one. Always check your tension on your inner cables. Now, uh, I'm using the older uh, Bianchi, so you only have one style of cables here, which is the outer cable. Okay, the issue number two will be uh, this one here. So you see here the hanger for the front derailleur. What ends up happening here, there's a bolt, there's a bolt right here, which is holding the uh, derailleur over here uh, onto the frame. What ends up happening, that bolt, which is located over here, gets loose and uh, the derailleur starts to uh, lower down gradually. Uh, what ends up happening, uh, the hanger here starts to hit the, uh, the chain ring. So this is the chain ring, this is the hanger. And it's, it's not allowing for the, for the chain to move over from the small chain ring onto the big chain ring. Uh, if you look at the manual, uh, the, the manuals are telling you that you should only have a two millimeter from this gap here, so from the top of the chain ring up to the cage, this cage right here. So this thing here, you should only have two millimeter right in between, believe it or not. Okay, and let's go on the, the uh, last one, which is uh, uh, the very uh, last possibility, uh, these two screws here. Uh, chances are that um, these screws were not touched or adjusted in a while. So what ends up happening, uh, if the screw is uh, pushing this derailleur all the way down, chances are it's not allowing uh, the hanger, uh, front derailleur hanger to go over, I should say the cage, sorry. So it's not allowing it to move over. And of course, it's not gonna uh, uh, shift over from a small to the big chain ring. Now, the very last one, and this is what I see that the bikes that were left, that were left out in a cold and a wet climate would be, uh, if you left the bike outside, chances are there's a lot of uh, oxidation and the uh, rust here and a gunk on the, these screws over here that make this derailleur go right and left. Uh, you, what has of happening, uh, the front derailleur gets kind of sticky and what you have to do, you need to uh, apply some lubrication here with some uh, citrus and then lube it up with some uh, chain lube over here and that will uh, free this derailleur, derailleur which would go right left and it will shift from the smaller chain ring onto the big chain ring. So these are the four possibilities that you want to look at when you're uh, detecting the issue whether or not your uh, front derailleur shifts properly. I hope you found this useful. Uh, please like, subscribe if you found this video. Give it a like so the algorithm picks up this video and other people benefit. And over here to the right, there's a playlist of the videos that I love doing with the bikes and you may find them useful. Take care and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.